food chain is under continuing scrutiny when it comes to safety, traceability and animal welfare, which is why the National Office of Animal Health, NOAA, commissioned a survey to find out the public's views on animal medicines used in food production. Now this film looked at some of the issues in the survey. It aims to help those of us in the industry to understand what the consumer is thinking when it comes to animal medicines in the food chain. Are the animals being farmed intensively or free range? Are the farms organic? What are the animals being fed? Is it natural? Are they being given GM product? What about medicines? Are they pumped with hormones? There are a number of misconceptions among the public about the uses of medicines in farm animals. This affects all those in the food chain industry. From animal health companies to vets, from farmers to retailers. Which is why NOAA commissioned IGD to conduct a survey to find out exactly how much the consumer knows. There were some interesting results. Let's start with growth hormones. 71% of consumers thought that growth hormones were being used on UK farms or were unsure whether they were or not. Growth hormones have been banned throughout the EU since 1988 and the ban is strictly in force. But what about vaccinations or other medicines? 72% of respondents believed that vaccines or other animal medicines caused harm to consumers or were unsure. Vaccinations work by stimulating the animal's immune system against infectious disease. They do not transfer into the food chain at any stage. Some other medicines leave residues, but permissible safety margins are huge and pose no danger to the public. Samples of animal products from the UK and abroad are constantly tested for these residues. The Veterinary Medicines Directorate reports the results, which are published regularly. Animal medicines are more necessary in intensive farming, aren't they? Well, 90% of respondents either agreed or were unsure. But the truth is, animals need protection from disease regardless of where they're reared. And they need treatment when they're sick. Now when it came to the question of antibiotics, 76% either agreed or were unsure as to whether using antibiotics in animals made them less effective in humans. Some respondents also believed that antibiotics left residues in the food chain. What about consumer awareness about animal medicines in general? 78% were aware that medicines were used for treatment purposes, 74% were aware of vaccines, and 69% knew about preventative use. On consumer concerns, the highest factor was animal living conditions, followed by hygiene in the factory, additives, pesticides, animal feed, GM and the distance travelled. Concerns about the use of vaccines, medicines to treat and medicines to prevent were fairly low on the list of priorities. Attitudes to vaccination were mixed. While 42% thought they should be used to prevent disease, 30% were concerned that they could be transferred into the food chain, and 22% thought they should only be used if there was a risk of disease. What sort of information do consumers most want? Information on growth hormones is the top requirement and knowing country of origin is important for 28% of respondents. Who do consumers trust most to inform them about safety and about medicines and vaccines? The Food Standards Agency comes in as the most trusted source at 52%, ahead of the government including DEFRA at 33%, consumer groups such as WITCH at 27% and welfare bodies like RSPCA at 25%. One message that came across loud and clear is that people want more information about food safety. What we in the industry need to make clear is that farm animals have as much right to have access to medicines as other animals, or indeed humans. Having said that, Animal medicines should be used as little as possible, but as much as necessary. 
Consumers are key when it comes to the food chain and it's all our responsibility to make sure that safety messages are coming across clearly. And at the same time, there should be a high level of knowledge out there with the consumer. Noah would like to see everyone in the industry working together to achieve these aims. 